Hello everyone. We are back. Oh, don't worry. Not with a D4 data center. Not so soon. I'm here to take you Dr. Ant's lab and meet him. Let me tell you this, he might look young, but he has immense knowledge. And don't make fun of his name. I mean, full name. Why should I spoil your fun? Let's meet him and ask him his full name. So, are you excited? Yes, I know you are. So, let's go. Dr. Ann, where are you? Hey Pranav, how are you? I am fine. Where were you and what were you doing? I was at study desk, studying about power and its problems. What brings you to my lab? You forgot? We had an appointment. I am here with our viewers. Oh, you should have said camera is on. What will the viewers think of me? Relax, relax doctor. You are looking fine. So why you don't introduce yourself to our viewers? Oh sure. I am Dr. Amp and I am... Doctor, come on, tell them your full name. That is how we introduce... See, I am Pranav Shah and welcome you to Dr. Amp's lab. I know Pranav, you enjoy this. But it's okay. Someday, I'll get a chance to... Oh, come on doctor, viewers are waiting. Okay, fine. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anna Rao Madhuru Kuttuswan, aka Dr. Amp. And I welcome you to my lab. So doctor, what are you sharing with our viewers today? It is our first episode. Aren't you excited? Oh yes, I am. Today, I'll talk about what I was studying when you stepped in. And that is? I was studying about the different types of power problems. That's great. So you take over and I will go and take a seat. Sure Pranav, thanks. Dear cameraman, please zoom in now. Pranav is out of the frame. Dear viewers, before I start, let me tell you what I do here at MSP. Basically, I study the power problems of MSP customers and find solutions based on that. And then I train MSP team so that they provide you better service and suggest you the right product. And the motive behind my series on this channel is to educate you and share with you what we at MSP have learned over the years of experience about the power problems and what best services and products are available with us and in the market to solve those problems. So in order to find the right solutions to your problem, you need to understand your problems first. Therefore, in today's video, I will share about the most common problem faced by companies and individuals. So if you are into business or just an individual who wants to learn, then this video is for you. So let's get started and move to the presentation area. Power quality disturbances defined by IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers are organized into seven categories based on wave shape that they have shown on oscilloscope and these seven categories are transients, interruptions, sag or under voltage, swell or over voltage, waveform distortion, voltage fluctuations and frequency variation. Let us look at them in little detail. Transients. This is potentially most damaging type of power disturbance. Transients fall into two subcategories. Impulsive and Oscillatory the Impulsive transients is the one which in common language we say power surge or spike. These are caused by lightning, poor grounding, switching of inductive load and electrostatic discharge. Oscillatory transients is a sudden change in the steady state condition of signal voltage, current or both. These transients occur when you turn off an inductive or capacitive load such as a motor or capacitor bank and this is how the waveform look. Second type of problem is interruptions. In common language, loss of power supply or when you say power is out. The causes of interruptions can vary but are usually 
the result of some type of electrical supply grid damage such as lightning strike, animals, trees, vehicles, accident, destructive weather which can be high winds or heavy snow, equipment failure or basic circuit breaker tripping. Third problem is sag or under voltage. A sag is a reduction of AC voltage at a given frequency for the duration of 0.5 cycles to 1 minute cycle. Sags are usually caused by system faults and are also often the result of switching on loads with heavy startup currents. And as the result, the sag is commonly known as under voltage or low voltage. Fourth problem is swell or over voltage. Basically, a swell is the reverse form of sag having an increase in AC voltage for duration of 0.5 cycles to 1 minute's time. Common sources for swells are high impedance neutral connections, sudden or especially large load reductions and a single phase fault on three phase system and these long term swells create over voltages or when we say the power is high. Fifth problem is waveform distortion and there are five types of waveform distortions. First, DC offset. Direct current or DC can be induced into an AC distribution system often due to failure of rectifiers within the many AC to DC conversion technologies that have proliferated modern equipment. Second, harmonics. Harmonic distortion is the corruption of fundamental sine wave at frequencies that are multiples of the fundamental. Example, 180 Hz is the third harmonic of 60 Hz fundamental frequency, which is 3 into 60 equals 180. Third, interharmonic. Interharmonics are a type of waveform distortion that are usually the result of a single imposed on the supply voltage by electrical equipment such as static frequency converters, induction motors and arcing devices. Fourth, notching. Notching is periodic voltage disturbance caused by electronics devices such as variable speed drives, light dimmers and arc welders under normal operation. This problem could be described as transient impulse problem but because the notches are periodic over half cycle, notching is considered a waveform distortion problem. And last, noise. Noise is unwanted voltage or current superimposed on the power system voltage or current waveform. Noise can be generated by power electronic devices, control circuits, arc welders, switching power supplies, radio transmitters and so on. And sixth type of problem is voltage fluctuations. Since voltage fluctuations are fundamentally different from the rest of the waveform anomaly, they are placed in their own category. A voltage fluctuation is a systematic variation of the voltage waveform or a series of random voltage changes of small dimensions namely 95 to 105% of nominal at low frequency generally below 25 any load exhibiting significant current variation can cause voltage fluctuations and the last type of power problem is frequency variations this is extremely rare in stable utility power systems especially systems interconnected via power grid where sites have dedicated standby generators or poor infrastructure, frequency variation is more common, especially if the generator is heavily loaded. IT equipment is frequency tolerant and generally not affected by minor shifts in the local generator frequency. So, these are the most common power problems. I hope I have provided some valuable information to you. Well, that is all from my today's presentation. Well, thanks doctor for sharing such a valuable information about power problems. Even I didn't knew it in the detail about the seven problems. I hope our viewers liked it, your presentation and learned something. I hope so. That it is guide for our this episode. If you like this, you have liked Dr. Ann. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. 
and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the notification. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. Links are in the description. I'll also meet you there. About our services, call us on 9696086262 or send an email to info at msplgroup.com or visit www.msplgroup.com. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. See you soon.